today i'm here to present the topic reasons for the growth of administrative discretion a critical appraisal so before uh, moving to the topic we have to know what is discretion a discretion is a right to it's a power and it is a right to choose which cannot be determined right or wrong in any subjective way so according to lord diplock what he says about administrative discretion is that so it's a very it's a uh, best con it's a best concept we defined as a power to choose between more than uh, one possible course of action where there is a, a reasonable room with a room for reasonable people to hold uh, differing opinions which should be considered so moving to the uh, reasons for the growth of administrative discretion so first one is complexity of modern government so uh, when the, when a modern when societies and when society becomes modern there will be legal and technical and more complex issues will be there so for dealing these complex issues the uh, necessity of administrative discretion increases then delegation of powers we know that in early time legislation is the only authority which deals all the uh, problems of the people and it it gives a burden to the legislation so after that when it feels a burden then it changes and then it forms an authority it is administrative authority to deal the problems which which will be very efficient and speedy then efficiency and speed so administrative authority they deal with the problems with the legal expertise actually improves efficiency in your view yes the dangerous procedures drafting a bill then a cup forming a subject committee so for going a long procedure when a complex issue comes before an administrative authority using his legal expert or technological uh, knowledge he can just only if it becomes positive yeah. hmm. should not be resulting in arbitrariness hmm. okay then critical appraisal of the growth of administrative discretion efficiency and so we can compare uh, can uh, do a comparison where efficiency and expertise versus accountability and transparency so administrative uh, agencies authorities often they possess specialized techniques and knowledge which uh, they uh, which they can in, which they can implement uh, technical and very complex issues in an efficiency and in a, without any lack then uh, administrative discretion enables quicker and uh, more flexible uh, reasons to emerging complex and uh, evolving circumstances then accountability and transparency administration discretion can uh, lead to decisions being made behind uh, closed doors where a public consideration or a public uh, participation is not seen then unlike uh, legislative officials administrative authorities are appointed uh, by the le by the experts through a preliminary exam then written examination interview so a law so, so there's a process but uh, legislative officials are only appoint or uh, elected by the people so effective oversight by the judiciary legislative powers and independent watchdogs is crucial to ensure that administrative discretion is exercised appropriately so and the ability to adapt uh, regulations and enforcement strategies in response to new information and changing conditions is vital for effective governance so uh, let me uh, conclude uh, my topic that so the growth of administrative discretion is a double edged sword see on the uh, one hand uh the uh, administrative authority will uh, have efficient fast driven and flexible governors of capable of uh, addressing complex and 
dynamic issues. But on the uh, other hand, uh, it raises significant concerns about public accountability, then transparency, and the potential of abuse of power. So that's all. Thank you.